Mary and Fred's heart take over shock allegations. Prince Joachim's wife has shockingly hinted that her family's decision to remain in France was not their own choice. Now royal fans are speculating that he and Princess Marie are being pushed out of the Danish royal family. In a new interview with Danish magazine Saog Hor, Crown Prince Frederick's brother was asked to explain why he had stepped away from his royal duties to take up a position as military attaché at the Royal Danish Embassy in Paris for the next three years. Princess Marie is reported as replying on behalf of her husband, saying of the surprise new job and possibly permanent relocation, it is not always us who decide. I think that's important to know. The Danish royals broke with protocol and spoke to the outlet while on a stroll near Luzek, southwest France, on a family holiday. During the impromptu interview, Princess Marie revealed the change in direction for the family hadn't been an easy one. I think it has been challenging for me because I had to support my husband and take care of our children, she said. That was what I had to do. We have to see what comes. But perhaps even more surprisingly, Marie appeared to suggest she regretted leaving her adopted home. I was so happy living in Denmark, said the 44-year-old mother of two. I love living in Denmark. It is just such a wonderful country to be in. Everything works well and there are not many problems. But I come from Paris. So for me, this is nothing new. If we can go back and forth between France and Denmark, then that would be great. When asked if that was a possibility, Marie replied, We really do not know. We were thrown into it without thinking much. It's an unexpectedly candid response, considering Prince Joachim's status in the royal family has been questioned in recent years. Seoji Hor noted in its story that the interview had not been previously agreed to by the official royal communications department and took place just days before Joachim's emergency brain surgery. Joachim, once nicknamed the party prince, has not always been popular among royal watchers. He faced criticism after the breakdown of his first marriage back in 2005 and his limited royal responsibilities, despite being paid a generous salary by the crown. In 2014, he came under fire for stepping away from his debt-laden farm holding, and there were rumors that his relationship with his brother Frederick had become increasingly strained. Joachim and his family moved to Paris in 2019 after being invited to study at its prestigious École Militaire. They temporarily returned to Denmark during the early months of the COVID-19 crisis but moved back to France in May. Joachim's new diplomatic position understood to be his dream job, was set to begin in September, but his recent surgery after suffering a blood clot could mean he's facing a long recovery. Build Blade at Magazine reported the 51-year-old prince had been suffering headaches, and had become numb and partially paralyzed before his hospitalization at the University Hospital of Toulouse. After the operation, an official statement from the Danish royals confirmed the prince was recovering in intensive care but wouldn't have any physical or other consequences from the blood clot. The statement said Joachim would continue to be hospitalized in the near future. Open wounds, broken hearts and There's nothing much for them to say I'm the king of my castle I decide on when to play It's not easy to run, it's not easy to hide It's not easy to focus on life It's not easy to run, it's not easy to hide It's not easy to focus on life
hospitalized before his hospitalization at the University Hospital of Toulouse. After the operation, an official statement from the Danish royals confirmed the prince was recovering in intensive care, but wouldn't have any physical or other consequences from the blood clot. The statement said Joachim would continue to be hospitalized in the near future.